Today in chapel, we have a, a special speaker, a vice president of Christian Ministries, Pastor Rome. Good evening to faculty, staff, professors. Thank you all for and, and having me tonight. Tonight, what I want to talk to you about is some of you know classes start on Wednesday. And some of you freshmen, some of you sophomores, some of you juniors are scared to death about classes. Well, I'll return to you some scripture. You can find this in, in, uh, in Genesis chapter 23. It says, And he saw the giants. And he went back to Moses and gave him the bad report. Of, except for Caleb and Jonathan. <laughs> <laughs> and he told him, of report. For the Nephilim will come to get us, and what will we do? He reads like that. <laughs> <laughs> but Moses said, but God told Moses, you ten slides give you bad report. Come back. You two good report. And some of you that's that's very interesting because we notice in the text that Caleb and Joshua went to go survey the land and come back. They were not spies, per se, but they were more like scouts. <laughs> they were looking out the land, and what the ten spies saw were these giants, these Nephilim, who were bigger than they were. They seen it, they ran back to Moses and gave Moses the report they said, Oh, they're so much bigger than us. Oh, look at the giants. <laughs> and Joshua and Caleb came back with the report. <laughs> it's all right. It's okay. Some of you are feeling that same way. Oh, look at the giants. <laughs> the giants are here to keep me. <laughs> it's good! <laughs> but I can't let you know tonight that there are no giants in the land! <laughs> there are no giants. <laughs> you say, look at him, he's much bigger than I am. But there are <laughs> no giants in the land! <laughs> As soon as you come to know that, you have success here at Cedarville. Let us pray one more time. <laughs> Freshman, I'm so glad that you're finally a part of the Cedarville family. We have literally been praying for you since last year. <laughs> we welcome you with open arms. And if you ever need anything, do not hesitate to call my office. <laughs> email me. Students have emailed me in the past. And don't ever hesitate to call me. But there are three things really quickly that I want to tell you about that will make it easier for you at Zero. The Bible says, greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. <laughs> greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. To understand that, you have to understand these three things. First, it's look. <laughs> <laughs> Look up Keep your eyes focused on Christ Jesus. Glory. Preach it. 
Keep your eyes on the prize mm. because he's looking mm. out on you. Mm, that's good. I say look up because you're not looking <laughs> to your left. You're not looking to your right. Glory. You're not looking in front of you. You're not looking behind you. You're looking up. Amen. But secondly, you have to live in Live inwardly. What does that mean? You have to let your light so shine within yourself that others see that you belong to the great Jesus. You have to live so well inside that people will want to know about the Christ you serve. There's a great atheist. There's a great atheist who said, <laughs> I challenge everything that Christians do. I challenge every single thing that these Christians do. What they do is so absurd. He went as far as to post that on the internet. Oh, on the internet. <laughs> and the newspaper. Well, one day his wife fell ill. His wife fell ill and his wife fell ill and the Baptist church that he lived right down the street, without him knowing, stayed with his wife when he had to go away, brought food to his wife, and he was later quoted as saying this. Those people did it without me even asking. It makes me question my atheism. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Ooh. Thirdly, you have to. Thirdly, you have to love outwardly. <laughs> that means that when your brother needs a hand, you have to be there to help him. Be there with one another. Because at Cedarville University, we're here for each other. I'm here for you. He's here for you. You're here for him. That's how it works. So Amen. the three things that you need to do, you have to look up. Live everywhere. But finally, most important, you have to have an awesome day, Christ. Amen. You are dismissed. Thank you. You have to save.